Welcome to another day in a champagne expert's life. Today I have chosen and picked two champagnes because they are so unique. Two strange, peculiar, no, just special champagnes. Not as they normally are. Because in the first glass I have a champagne from one of the most famous spots, Auvillet, the cradle of champagne, the place where the monk Dom Pierre Perignon started the famous story of champagne, so to say, and I never tasted a pure Blanc de Blanc from that village before, and that's the case here. A pure Blanc de Blanc from Fernand Le Maire, 2015. A small grower, never tasted before. Second one, a rather famous, uh, not very famous, but rather famous, Blin, Blin we say in Swedish, but that's wrong, Blin, um, and they are here because they produced for the first time a pure Petit Melier. One of these obscure forgotten grapes that was almost extinct, but now they produce it in its purest form. So let's taste these two white Blonde Blancs, because this is also Blonde Blanc from Petit Melier. Mm, almost as I expected, more of this uh, pear like rather rich, fruity, not that elegant, a little bit rustique style of uh, uh, Ovillier, but very nice, soft, pineapple as well. Chewy, grapey, slightly exotic, but again, a little bit rustique, but that's the terroir, it should be like that. Petit Mislier. So different, so special. I've tasted one which is just crazy from Maillard. Check his 19 up. That's a tremendous wine. Extremely strange in comparison with others, but close to a Coton Charlemagne from Bonneau de Matre or something like that. But dipping down my nose here, I get the grape style. And the grape style is, to make it very simple, it's a bit rubbery, almost like a Chenin Blanc from Loire on the nose. On the palate, it's wild strawberries and strawberries. Very, very different from what you find on the nose. Soft, tender, almost like um, a chewing gum with wild strawberries. Yeah, try to find it because it's really worth, especially the Petit Mislique. 